Hello, welcome everyone to race number nine of the truck series. We're here at the North Wilkesboro Speedway. There are your full qualifying results, and here is the race command. Drivers, start your engines! All right, engines fired up. We are ready to go. So Cole Sampson on pole for tonight's race alongside the 98 of Roberto Crown Jr. After race number 8 at Darlington, David Davison is still our points leader by 43 points. Eberheimen has jumped up to second. Pace truck is in. I think there's a driver with problems. Actually, there's two, three drivers with issues already. Alright, we'll start without them. Here we go. Green flag is out, and we're underway. Three wide back there. Still three, the 16's clear. Coming to lead the lap number one, Cole Sampson unchallenged here. Still three wide. Got some three wide action, also further back in the pack. It's already half a second lead for the 62 truck. We were a little too wide there. Don't hit the wall. We've seen them hit the wall before. Still three. Thirty-three's coming out. Handful of laps down as well as the twenty-four. See what uh, happened to them. So twenty-four already had a tire. Thirty-one had a. Well, we saw the thirty-one having mechanical failure, and the thirty-three also with the tire issue. Goodyear's not bringing their best tonight. Two drivers already affected, and the thirty-one of Monaco. He didn't cross the line, so we don't know exactly what. Went wrong under the hood. Chat box, of course, only gives us a fake detail as the caution is out. And Cole Sampson will take the yellow. Alright, there it is. Okay, let's take a look at the replay. So they were four wide into turn one. Brad Cheston, Flora Johnson, and Nick Stick, uh, I guess, the new one. Uh, Oh, wasn't clear. No, I just ran out of room. So those three go up into the wall. Well, the 49 looks like uh, might have got a tiny scratch from that. So go on board here. Cheston, uh, he ran wide coming off four. Kind of opened the door for them. So we go all the way back coming off turn four. So way up the racetrack. He does hit the wall. So he's a bit slow. So they try to get around him. Doesn't quite work out. Almost made it through, but uh, not quite. So Justin was still being a little aggressive there. He did have room going all the way up to the outside, but if he did that, would have lost a ton of spots. So he took the risk though, but looks like it didn't pay off. All right, we'll uh, take you back to the restart. All right, uh, accelerate a little too fast here. Yeah, I gotta be careful with this because this thing accelerates much faster on the newer computer. So Parker Smith in the nine has taken the lead. Usually I would just try to restart the race, but okay, we didn't miss that much, it looks like. So Cole Sampson is down to second, lost the Lagrange in the four. The four team. Well, they're not last now. I was about to say they were last in the points. But now that goes to Cole Colby and the 14 of Bill Jones. Not going to be able to save it. And upside down he goes. Tumbling into turn one and into the catch fence. And the catch fence catches the 14. Wow. I don't think we've seen a tumble like that here in North Wilkesboro. 
Although we have seen drivers fly pretty high in the air. Going to the turn of three into the pit wall. But uh, yeah, we haven't had a barrel roll like that here before. All right, let's take a look at the replay. So Bill Jones in the 14, going for a wild ride. We just saw it live. He's in the middle three wide. He gets in the 88, then bounces off the 36, then hits the wall. Then across the 23 into the driver's side. And he just starts rolling in into turn one on top of the 19 and then into the catch fence as more trucks pile in. Let's go on board with Stephen Oaks in the 23 here. Yeah, when they're still up to speed or a certain speed and they hit like that, yeah, they're going to go for a ride. Yeah, I don't think anyone is expecting that 14 just to tumble like that. So he's still going. Gets hit in the driver's door. Car turns or truck turns over. And he goes for one hell of a ride. From the uh, second TV camera. Rewind this again. Okay, that's uh, not a good angle. But there we go. Right on top of the 19. For Carson Manning. Let's go on board with him now. And that catch fence does a good job. Although the 14 is kind of stuck. So on board with Carson Manning. So he kind of just had to push his way through. Then he goes to the outside. Trying to avoid the rolling truck. And it just... Yeah. Not going to happen there. Now let's we'll watch this one one more time. Go inside the truck of Bill Jones. He tried to save it. Just couldn't do it. It's an unexpected scary ride there for the 14. Although not the worst flip we've had here at this track. It's definitely one of them. Alright, we'll uh, take you back to the restart. Okay, not gonna miss the restart this time. So two trucks out of the race. 34 drivers left out on the racetrack, or I should say three. It's Monaco. The Darlington winner doesn't even start tonight's race. Alright, here we go. Green flag is out, back underway. Cole Sampson with a great launch. And back to the top spot. Four looking low. And just get his nose underneath, little tap there, little bump and run. 29 there as well. I think I saw the nine. Did I get turned? Or did he get loose? Either way, Ibrahim in a 36, second in points. He is still rolling. After that dominating performance as mentioned several times already. He's already got a win under his belt winning at Texas World Speedway. 43 points back. He's got some time or I guess half time. Still very early in the season. Sort of. Well we're almost at the halfway point. So better start racking up those points now. Where is the three? Somewhere mid-pack or at the back of the pack. There he is currently running in 17th. Not too bad But could be a little better here But an 8.63 average finish Oh walking up the racetrack 12 is in the wall All right, everyone good Hey, not quite not quite don't come don't come down don't go for a wide to 33. Remember, he is not on the lead lap and he's going to dump Sam at Oscan. Track's clear. Track's clear. No caution. Big lead here for Cole Sampson in the 62. One second ahead. And now we got ourselves a yellow.
Alright, here they come. Caution flags out. Cole Sampson will take the yellow flag. And yeah, we'll take a look at the replay. So, Pouchard in the 07. Looks like he got a lot of help from the 12. The 12, he just dove it in there. He was driving hard. Hooks the 07 straight into the wall. Collects the 24 and the 33. 7 truck as well. A little bit of peace. But the 07 takes heavy damage. Yeah, going straight in the wall like that at an angle. Yeah, it's going to be a big hit. That's what happened there. The 07 definitely going to be out of this one. The 24 and the 12 and the rest. Yeah, they should be okay. Uh, so since we're here, the Sam and Oscan getting a lucky break with this caution. As no yellow was thrown. A 12 in the 07. Possible payback? I wouldn't say so. I don't know. I mean, 12 did come down a little bit on the 07. Definitely wasn't intentional. So there's the 049. There are four wide to 33. Hooks, to, hooks that 49. Spins him out. Yeah, there's no reason for him to go four wide there. Being a couple laps down like that. So Sam and can bit of damage from that, quite a bit from the back end. Then the next lap we had this. Now, I mean, it shouldn't be payback, but uh, they just happened to get get together again. Well, be a weird payback if it was, because uh, yeah. All right. Anyways, we'll take you back to the restart. All right, here we go. So 33 left, the 07 car out, here we go, green flag is out, we're back underway, Four. they caught a better restart, just a little bit better, no other bonus point for that lap, but I don't think he could stay on the outside there. Side by side, 29, nope, drifts up the racetrack a bit. Four is not gonna like that, gave him a little tap. Opens the door for the 16 and oncoming uh, drivers and others. That's why Cole Samson's able to get out to such a big lead. These guys keep, you know, pushing and shoving each other. Still side by side. Nobody can clear. 29 gets the drive off the top lane, but not enough of a drive. 10 laps remaining. One second lead. We're focusing on these. And the rest of the top five as the 80 almost gets turned by another fellow Dodge driver. Abraham is sitting in fourth. Got to pull something off here. Might need another yellow to catch back up. Maybe. All right, Muhammad's finally cleared. Abraham is now fighting for third. Ten of uh, Andrew Gardner. In fifth place. Will we see another caution? Possibly. We've had Rex tonight, but not a lot. So 1.2 the last time around. What's the gap? Can he do it on his own? Alright, he's closing in. But is there enough time? And will we see another yellow? That's also another thing to factor in. Three wide back here. Or 
a position. Alright, down to almost second. So really gotta push hard. Push, push, push. Everything you got. Cole Sampson in the 62 enters this race. Where is he? Trying to find him in the points. Where is that 62 car? Oh, 1.2 the last time around. Pushed a little too hard. No, maybe not. Still can't find him. There he is, 15th in the points. This win would be a big one. Three laps to go, just crossing his fingers, hoping that there isn't another caution. Had a pretty clean race, lost the lead twice, had Parker Smith take it. And then the four led that lap on that last restart, and that's about it. Two laps remaining here, four to 62. Just needs to take the white flag. As long as the leader takes the white, everyone else doesn't really matter. All right, here we go, white flag is out, one more lap to go. Everything holding together for Cole Sampson. Not a true dominant race. But still, he was the one to beat. Alright, into turns three for the final time tonight. Checkered flag is in the air. Cole Sampson in the 62 will take it here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Whoa, to 12, Cole Colby. He manages, hangs on to it. Alright. Go. Reckon. Reckon at the end. No, no, maybe not. Well, since we're here. Oh, shit. So, Colby, uh, he just saved it coming to the line, but... Tony one hooks him straight into the wall. Wow. On his side. Almost had another flip near the end of the race. Wow. That was a wild one. I don't know how he's still driving that thing, too. Going board with the 12 here. So, it goes head on. Goes head on, picks up the truck, and then the six goes there on the outside. Kind of like wedged his way, wedged himself underneath the 12, nearly causing him to fly over. Alright, so go back live. And, well, let me save it first. Alright, so Cole Sampson, the winner tonight. Um, Hama Zane finished two seconds back, so he lost a lot of time there at the end. Ibrahim in a great finish for him. That should give him a lot of points in third. Andrew Gardner uh, finishing fourth. Uh, Austin like Grand just first top five of the season. Definitely well needed. Uh, Johnny Cox finishing sixth. Nathan Norman getting seventh. Kenny Johnson eighth. Nikolai Sykes ninth. And Carlos Rodriguez tenth. Here's the rest of the race results. And Parker Smith had a piston go out near the end. So that dropped them all the way to 31st. And he was our one of our three leaders of tonight's race. So I guess that makes 32 trucks finish tonight's race. Uh, four of them out. One did not finish or did not start. That was Eric Monaco. So he will finish 37th but will get points. So, but that's been a rule for a while. So I don't need to bring that up. You, they used to not get points before. But now they do. Although it's been the case for a while. But anyways... That is it here tonight at North Wilkes Pro Speedway. Cole Sampson is your race winner tonight. We'll now take you to Victory Lane.